And so if you look at our society doing all these things that we know are destructive, polluting the air, polluting the water, causing climate, unprecedented climate change since the last major extinction, uh, all these things that are clearly harmful things, and yet we defend our huge SUVs, we defend our yeah. shopping addictions, we, if, we defend our food addictions. We actually have systems in place to make sure that we stay addicted to them. Yeah. We have systems that make it easy to be an addict. It's very difficult to become not an addict in today's society. So I think that it's like we really are living as addicts and we're living with the results of that addiction yeah. and it's very very harmful our behaviors are so destructive we are going to be forced to change if we don't get inspired to change first the problem is a disease and i call it the disease of disconnect because if you're disconnected from the planet which many of us now are you can destroy it and not realize that you're destroying your very own self we are not just living on this planet we come from this planet we live with this planet we are one of so many species that come together in this place we call home called earth yeah. if you care in the world today it is the second most courageous thing you're going to do the first most courageous thing you're going to do is find a way to turn that care into action yeah. what is it in your life that calls you and causes you to be bigger than you know yourself to be i want to get people to drop into their heart and take inspired loving action for the world because that's the kind of actions that are really going to last and those are the kind of actions that are going to transform they're not just going to fix something they're going to transform it they're going to help heal the disease what do you think is the is the biggest challenge to transformation in our in our world i think the biggest challenge to transformation is just fear really fear of the unknown holds a lot of people back we will stay in something that is highly detrimental and destructive. Our souls are dying, people aren't happy. They have lots of stuff, but they're hardly ever happy. But they will stay in that comfortable, unhappy zone because it's comfortable. Because the fear of something new is overwhelming. And sadly, they, it has been shown with many animals, an animal that's kept caged from the time it was born at some point, if it's released, it won't even leave the cage because it's so afraid of what's outside of the cage. It doesn't understand what it is like to live not in a cage. We've lived in a cage that constricts our soul, that constricts our heart, and that constricts our potential for so long that even if someone comes and opens the door to that cage, the fear of the unknown or the fear of what it's going to take the fear of yeah it's going to demand courage i don't know if i have that in me the fear of not being smart enough not being rich enough not having enough time the not enough conversation that's so much a part of industrialized production driven societies that not enough conversation kills us off half the time before we ever even start when you think about a woman who lived in a tree for two years, it seems so extraordinary in a weird way. <laughs> like, it is kind of funny. I tell people, I'm like, it is kind of funny. I lived in a tree for two years, yeah. you know? Like, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, so for some people, it disempowers them because they think I'm crazy. For other people, it disempowers them because they think, well, I could never do that. Yeah. But I remind people, on December 10th, 1997, when I stood at the base of Luna and looked up, I could never have done that either. Yeah. Like I was, in my mind, I was not the girl who could go through what I went through. So I don't want people comparing themselves to me. I, I do want people to see me as a human being and say, well, if that person could do that, what can I do? And I don't know what that is for you, but I want you to find it and I want you to do it because our world needs it desperately.